This is the municipal airport in Rexburg, Idaho. And this is a North American T-6 trainer flown by pilots of the United States Armed Forces in World War II. The T-6 and many other vintage planes just like it reside here at the Legacy Flight Museum, where owner John Bagley and his crew work to preserve these amazing pieces of aviation history. The unique part about this museum is it is a live museum. All of these planes fly, and they fly on a regular basis. This is Amron Valora. He's 16 years old and lives with his family not too far from the museum in Rexburg. Last summer, John hired Amron to work for him on a construction project in Nebraska, and they've been good friends ever since. Recently, John invited a group of youth from Amron's war to tour the museum. And along the way, they learned a few things about how maintaining and flying these planes applies to life. Maintaining these old airplanes, if you get behind on it, it costs you. If you run low on coolant, it's going to cook the engine, and you have to overhaul the engine. Well, overhauling one of these engines is 100 grand. They take care of the planes and do what they need to to make them last as long as they can and run good. We have to stay on top of it all the time so that they're ready to fly whenever we are. And it's the same way with our youth today. If we don't put the right stuff in our bodies, you can take the best looking, the strongest, most fit kid in the high school and destroy him in a matter of weeks if they get on the wrong stuff. It's like when you mess up your life, you've got to come back and you've got to go through the repentance process. When we don't maintain these airplanes, we have to repent. This particular plane here has got bullet holes in it. During the tour, John had a surprise up his sleeve. He pulled Amron aside and made him an offer he couldn't refuse. Tell you what, tomorrow, because you helped me out there in Nebraska, tomorrow we'll go fly. Sounds like fun. Great, I love it. He shocked me when he asked me to come fly with him. I said, that sounds great. But this was to be no ordinary flight. Amron would have the rare opportunity to ride in the backseat of the Mormon Mustang, otherwise known as the P-51 Escort Fighter, the premier fighter of World War II. The Mormon Mustang was given its name by its original pilot, Roland Wright, who shot down three German fighters during the war. This was sure to be a flight that Amron would never forget. To me, there's a great peace that comes when I fly, and it's freedom. And to share the ride with someone who really loves planes is a great thrill. Before we take an airplane up to fly, we try to check everything, to anticipate everything that can possibly happen. You make sure there's not dings in the prop, you make sure the bolts are all in the ailerons and the flaps, you walk around the tail. I make sure my oil temperature is right, I make sure my water temperature is right, I make sure I've got plenty of fuel. He talked to us about getting prepared to go on flights and how it relates to how we need to prepare for the life ahead of us. If you're going to go to college, you've got to prepare in high school. And if you want to go on a mission, you've got to start getting ready now. And you've got to avoid drugs, you've got to avoid pornography, you've got to avoid alcohol. you got to put on your, the armor of God. Okay, Getting ready to go on the takeoff, I was so excited. When the tail comes up, I'm doing about 50 or 60 miles an hour. I lift off at about 100 knots. Right when we took off that lane, man, I was just happy. My heart was pounding. As I start my takeoff, I have to think ahead of time, if the engine quit right now, what would I do? And we as a people need to do the same thing. We need to plan what's gonna happen if this situation comes up. If you go to a party and they bring out the alcohol and the beer, you can't make the choice then. You have to make it before then. The peer pressure at that particular point in time is intense. That's not the time to decide if you're gonna be moral that night. You gotta decide that beforehand. When we fly, we have what we call the envelope. And the envelope is the parameters that we can fly in and be safe. 
we try to stay away from the edges. And if youth will do the same thing, kids think they can go with so-and-so and they'll reform them. That's the edge of the envelope. They think they can go out with their buddies that drink and not drink and they'll be their driver. That's the edge of the envelope. That was great! Oh, I love that! John wasn't pushing it the limit at all when I was with him. I was having a lot of fun doing those loops and barrel rolls and everything and those flybys. It was a lot of fun and he was obeying the safety rules. But if you take a drink, if you say, well, we can park here for just a little while, then you quit flying. If somebody offers you drugs and you walk away, you're still in control. Now, you're gonna take some flack for it, but in reality, if they're really our friends, they won't ask us to do that. When we come back into land, we have to do a checklist again. North American 5 1 Bravo Julian, downwind, 1 7, full stop. We've got to make sure we announce ourselves coming into the pattern. We've got to make sure we get our gear down. We've got to make our approach right. And we've got to touch down right. It was amazing. I just, I loved it. I do it again every day. <laughs> oh, I had a great time. Oh. <laughs> Lessons to fly by lessons to live by. On this day, the Mormon Mustang taught Amron a few things he won't ever forget. My favorite scripture comes from Mosiah 2 and 41. And moreover, I would desire that you would consider on the blessed and happy state of those that keep the commandments of God. For behold, they are blessed in all things, both temporal and spiritual. And if they hold out faithful to the end, they are received into heaven, that thereby they may dwell with God in a state of never-ending happiness. Oh, remember, remember that these things are true, for the Lord God has spoken it. The blessed and happy state of those that keep the commandments. Now that's the key to a happy life right there. Live by the rules. <laughs>